Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming a quick video with an eye look, letting you guys know about a restock that Sugar Drizzle is doing today. So if you guys are interested in seeing some of the palettes I have from the brand, then just keep watching. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Karen Harris. I like to film tan girl friendly makeup videos here on YouTube. I try to post quite often. It's been a little slow this summer. We're taking it a little easy, but I highly recommend subscribing, turning on that bell so you're notified every time I post. And without further blubbering, let's get into it. Okay guys, I'm so excited because I saw a post from Sugar Drizzle, this one right here, and it's saying that they're restocking a bunch of their palettes. So they're restocking their Pizza Kitty, their Pickle palette, and their OG Sugar palette. I don't have those three, but I do have their Frog palette, their Flamingo palette, and their Dragonfly palette. Now I've tried the Dragonfly, I haven't tried the Flamingo, and I haven't used the Frog palette on my eyes yet. This palette sold out in like five minutes when it launched a few weeks ago. So I anticipate that this restock will also sell out really fast. So if you're seeing this video, the restock is happening at 3 p.m. Eastern time, that's 2 p.m. Central time. So set yourself a little reminder. I'll probably post on my community tab about 15 minutes before the launch. Just so you guys are reminded, because I always forget during the weekend when there's a restock. So I will post a reminder for you guys. And I do have an affiliate code with Sugar Drizzle. It is KH Makeup and you will save money on your purchase. So very, very exciting stuff. I'm excited to play with these palettes. So let's stop talking and let's put some eyeshadow on these naked eyeballs. Okay friends, so my eyes are all primed. And I'm going to use some of the mattes from this palette and then go in with a shadow from this palette. Although the Flamingo palette also has some really pretty metallics. Actually, I've never swatched this one. So let me go ahead and swatch this just so you guys can see. Also, I got my new lights set up. So this is the first video I'm filming with it. So if I need to adjust anything I will but do bear with me okay so there are the swatches so we have pink ice strawberry snow snowmingo shrimp slushy feather butt stilts flamingo baby pinkberry and mr beaks that's a cute name that's the palette that I haven't used from the brand yet also I usually have playlists made with brands that I try often on my channel. So I will link my Sugar Drizzle playlist at the end for you guys in case you're interested in seeing any of the videos where I've mentioned the brand. So I'm going to grab a Sigma. This is the E24. I really like this brush. I've been thinking about like my favorite Sigma brushes and this one I really like because it's a blending brush but it has a more tapered like shape to it so it's really nice for the outer corner as well so any who's let's go ahead and get into the shade I think I'm going to use stilts in my crease so I'm just going to go ahead and pick this up with the Sigma brush and I'm just gonna messily apply that onto my crease these mattes are very similar to other mattes that I've tried from Indie Brands. They are pigmented but not super pigmented so it's really nice because I feel like you can really build these up and they layer nicely and I would rather have that than have very pigmented shadows because Sometimes if you are newer to makeup, those really opaque mattes, you put them down and then you can't blend them out. So I'd rather be able to pack on a shade than have to worry about how to place it, I guess. I don't know. I'm trying to find the words. Anyway. Okay, that's a pretty purpley shade. It's like a lilac color. Next, I'm going to use the shade Shrimp Slushy in the outer corner. That's the darkest purple in this palette. And I'm just going to 
put that on the outer corner. I do wish that they had had one more deepening up shade in this palette, but I think the Dragonfly palette has a black in it, so I'm going to reach for that one and deepen this eye look up just a little bit more. Yeah, here it is. My Dragonfly came a little bit broken, but... I was able to press the shades back in to my pan. So yeah, this is a nice lock. It just helps give it a little more of a smoky look, which I love. Okay, so now for the fun part, picking out a shimmer shade from the Man I Love Frogs palette. So I think I'm gonna start off with the shade Cookie. And I'm going to put that all over the lid and then I'm going to layer some of these lighter colors on top just to see how all of these shades like pair on top of each other. Sometimes I feel like if I build up a few shades, it really adds to the look. So let me see here. I'm trying to pick this up. This might be one of those shadows that would pick up better with my finger, but... I like to use a brush for eyeshadow, so that's what I'm doing. This is a pretty blue, purpley, duochrome shadow from what I can tell. And it's a little bit of a flaky texture, just so you know. But that's so pretty and sparkly. Ooh. Okay. And it looks like you can definitely layer the color on top of itself. And then I want to try the shade Ribbit, which is this pretty color. It's like a blue green. So I just like to put a few shadows on top of each other with these palettes. Oh, because it almost is like a way to create a new shade. Oh, this is a pretty color. You guys know how much I love green, so for me, anytime I can layer some greens on, it makes me happy. Ooh, this is nice. Ooh, sparkly, sparkly, shiny, shiny. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit of Tadpole, this shade right here, and we're just going to put that on the outer corner. Oh, that is so pretty. Sorry, I'm just like talking to myself here because now I'm in like sparkles land. Oh, okay. Love it. So the other day I got a facial and this girl went ham on the extractions and like my nose here is like so dry. I really hope she didn't actually like destroy my skin. I have like red patches under my foundation from like her doing extractions. <laughs> so please say a little prayer for me. Anyways, eyes are looking amazing in my opinion. So let's do the lower lash line really quick. Okay, so I'm gonna use this Charmer shade from ColourPop in the waterline. Okay, so I'm going to take this green shade called BU from the Dragonfly and I'm just going to place that in the inner corner just to give this a touch of green. And then I'm going to take the Flamingo palette and go into the shade Stilts and we're just going to pull that from the middle of the waterline to the outer corner and just build that up a little bit. And then I'm going to go back into the dragonfly, go into the black shade and just add a little of it on the outer corner. 
Okay, so I think the look is done. I'm gonna throw on some mascara, pick out a lip shade, and I will be right back to show you guys the finished look. Okay, friends, so here is the finished look. Let me tell you really quick what else is on my face. So if you haven't been following me on Instagram in the last week, I've decided to basically shop my stash, which I usually do, but the key is, the key is I shop my stash, put it in a little makeup bag and bought it upstairs. If I'm with my daughter, I have the hardest time getting away from being upstairs, coming down here to put makeup on. So I was like, duh, let me have some of my makeup upstairs so I can do my wake up while she's like napping or she's playing in her play area upstairs. It's a great way for me to like multitask while being a mom and paying attention to her as well. So it's been really good and I decided to shop my stash and also that I want to try all of my foundations and let you guys know what the best ones are, which ones I kind of want to declutter and things like that. I've been loving my Makeup Forever HD foundation and that's the only one I want to use. So I figured this would actually be the best time to go through all of my foundations and just decide what's not working for me, what is working for me, kind of narrow things down and I'm taking notes and I'm living my best life. So anyway, today I have on the Tower 28 Tinted Sunscreen. I haven't worn this one in a hot second. I think this is going to be really nice for days when I'm not filming for YouTube, but I just want to have some coverage, I want to have some sunscreen, all of the things, so very, very excited to retry this one. And then I'm wearing the NARS Laguna Bronzer today, wearing the Red Blush from Lethal Cosmetics. I have on this Lippy from Ace Beauté, this is their liquid lipstick in the shade Manifest. I think this is the lightest nude in their liquid lipstick collection, so I thought I'd give that a try. And then my highlighter is the Winnie the Pooh highlighter from ColourPop. I think I have on 100 acres. So yeah, that's kind of how I created this look. Now as far as Sugar Drizzle goes, I do have some other palettes from them as well. I have this one which is the Butterfly palette. Such a pretty color story. I also have their Gnome Chrome. I think that one was limited edition, so I don't think you can buy that anymore. But from the six that they are restocking, I have three of them, and I used every single one to create this makeup look today, this eyeshadow look. So I just thought it would be fun to play with these palettes that I hadn't played with, especially because they're restocking, and to just remind you guys that I have a code that you can use and yeah just tell you that this is a nice up and coming indie brand at least in my books like I've been following them for a while but I haven't made like many dedicated videos about them so yeah this is really fun for me to do and so I just wanted to show you guys the palettes again I think that this one has like my favorite color story as far as a mix of matte and shimmer shades the pink one is nice too. I used to actually really love wearing pink eyeshadow. Still kind of do, but I definitely gravitate towards more of the greens and blues. And last but certainly not least is their newest palette, the Man I Love Frogs palette. Now, I feel like a lot of indie brands are coming out with all shimmer palettes like this. They seem to be like the hot ticket item for indie brands. And I really like that brands are doing palettes with special shades and that they're all metallics because... This is so easy for you guys to access instead of like the more pricey multi-chrome shadows. So I think this is a great buy if you're looking to try out a bunch of shimmer shades. Now there are other brands that make all shimmer palettes as well. So just go with whatever floats your boat, but I think this one is very, very nice. So yeah, I'm very excited to see what you guys end up picking up from the restock. Let me know if you're planning on shopping or if it's a pass for you. Either which way, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I will see you in a new video on Monday. We'll be doing New Makeup Monday. That's my weekly series here on my channel. So I will talk to you then. Bye!